Hi guys, welcome back. I'll show you how to play I Wish You Love by Luve. And um, when I have my take on song, you guys know, I'll cover every details in the song and all. So, uh, perfect video over here. So get ready with the guitar. I hope it's in the standard tuning. If you guys have played a, a Luve song before, I do think you have played. And this is maybe the second, third song you want to learn. And if, even if this is the first song, uh, good job, great choice. But uh, we have a couple of, you know, she uses uh, lots of bosan over chord shapes, uh, jazz chords and all. So, I uh, love her style. So, um, I'll show you guys exactly what to do. And if you just want to learn any other song, if you want to request, uh, we can do it by a super thanks. That would really appreciate my work a lot. And now, let's focus on the song, guys. We have like two parts to learn. We have a verse, then we got a chorus, then we have like an instrumental. Uh, you know, she always has like an instrumental where she kind of sings, uh, hums and all. And then we have another verse, another chorus, and then the last verse. That's the song, that's it. So just two parts to learn. So let's focus on the first part, it goes like this. And this is our verse one. Verse three is almost same, just a, a little bit difference we have, which I'll come later on. But uh, right hand stuff, um, I'm mainly plucking the chords throughout, so uh, that's what I do. And this is like the classic pattern which I have one, two, one, and bum, bum, ba, da, one, two, one, and so I'm hitting the bass note of the chord with the thumb, and then I pluck the DGB with the index middle ring. So one, two, and then again thumb, then plug DGB. So one, two, one, and one, two, one, and now bass note varies for every chord shape. It's mainly on the A and the E string. I mean the top two strings, right? So the first shape which we have, is look like, it looks like this. We have a D minor nine. I got my middle ring pinky on the fifth frets of A, G, B. Index stretched to the D string third fret. I'll do the same thing. It will be A, D, G, B, A, D, G, B. Then it goes to the next chord shape. Uh, this is a G13. I have index on the top string, third fret, middle finger on the D string, third fret, ring finger on the G string, fourth fret, pinky on the B string, fifth fret. Same thing. Now, instead of hitting the A string, just hit the E string. I told you guys it's all about the B note. So we got. I'll do it once. So I'll play. Boom, bang. So one, two, one, and. And then we'll add this quick thing. This is one extra note which we have. Uh, what I do is I bar the entire third fret and then I put a middle finger on the G string, fourth fret, and I just pluck E D G B. So we got one, two, one, and one, two, one, and extra. Now we'll come to a C major seven chord. I have A3, D5, G4, B5. So we got. So I'll pluck A, then I'll pluck D G B then again A, then D, G, B. And then I'll come to a, a minor chord. I just bought the entire fifth fret and I'll pluck E, D, G, B, E, D, G, B. So this is basically the intro and the verse. We have small changes, variation, which I'll come to, but let's learn the basic chord progression. What we got? D minor nine, G13, G7, C major seven, and A minor. Now let's talk about the verse 2. We just learned the verse 1, right? Verse 2 will be exactly same. There's like a small change, which is on that A minor chord. If you hear the verse, we have this. But like instead of playing an A minor 7 chord, we play an A minor 9. So what's the difference between an A minor 7 and an A minor 9? Just the 9. So uh, it's like an A minor 7 chord, but we add the 9, which is the 7th fret of the high E string. A minor. This is a 9 note, right? So. 7th fret on the high E string, but it is the ninth note of the A. So we got, I'll do this. I'll pluck the top string, the D string, the G string, B string together. Top string, uh, G, B, E. So. so top string, G, B, E. Then I pull off. Then I'll play B, G. So it sounds like this. One, two, one, and an extra. Boom. Add, 
and if you wanna do one thing, uh, what you can do is for the second line, it goes like this. So instead of playing a D minor nine, the second time when you play the progression, you can play a D minor seven chord. And it's barring the fifth fret with your index, you got sixth fret on B, D string seventh fret. So uh, this is what you can do for the second line. So the first line, I wish you So you can just change the second uh, D chord. Why play a minor nine when you can play a minor seven? Sometimes it's good to add some variation. Really makes the song a lot more spicier. Now we have this like a passing chord. When you move from the verse to the chorus, just play a C seven chord. And that's optional, but I'm um, barring this 8th fret completely, 9th fret on G, 10th fret on A. I'll strum the chord once quickly, and then I'm quick to go. Man, broken heart is da -da -na, and da -da -da, da -da -da. I try my best, my very best. Dun -da -da -da, and bang. This is the chorus, and that's all you need to know. I'll be coming to the verse 3. We learn the verse 1. Uh, we learned the verse 2 which was just that extra variation but verse 3 is just slightly different I'll come to that let's learn the chorus the chorus is our scene so uh, I'll come to this chord shape my broken heart beautiful F major 7 chord I have A8 D10 G9 B10 just like that C major 7 chord I'll pluck ADGB twice so my broken heart then da -da -da. this is a F minor 7 chord uh, we learn D minor 7, F minor 7 will be barring the 8th fret, 9th fret on B, 10th fret on D. Ba -da -ba. Then bring it 1 fret down, which is the E minor 7. So mute 7, 9, 7, 8, 7. Da -da 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 -da. I play two chords. I play the A7 sharp 5, and then back to your A7. A7 sharp 5. E5, D5, G6, B6. Then A7, just bar the 5th fret and 6th fret on the G string. Like you played a G7 chord for the verse, that's the way you're gonna do an A7 chord. So we got my broken heart, is all I dream, you and me. I try my best. I play this chord shape, this is a A minor 6. We're learning so many different chord shapes, guys, right? So uh, top string 5th fret, index on D4. G5, B5, very easy chord, pluck E, D, G, B. I try my best, my very best. Try my best, my very best. Very best, I just play A, D, G string for this chord shape. Uh, fifth fret on A, fourth fret on D, fifth fret on G. It's a D7. I try my best, my very best. And back to D minor 9, I wish you the best. Go to G13. So, the chorus sounds like this. Passing chord to broken heart, da 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 And now comes the verse three. I wish I I, I forgot the tune. Just a minute. Uh, uh, Same thing. Second time. See that I play a D minor 7 chord, G13. Then C major 7. And then goes to a A7 chord. So just play the A7 chord. Bar the 5th fret, 6th fret on G. And uh, if you want, you can have 7th fret on A string. So just play the A7 chord. This is the variation for the verse 3. It has an A7 chord in place of the A minor chord. So we got. I wish you Second time. Snowflakes. And then the last line we have it goes like this D minor 9, G13, G7, 
to a C major 7 and beautiful results so I'll play D minor 9 normally G3 normally then I'll go to G7 chord uh, just instead of playing it like an extra I'll not focus on it I'll play one and one and so bum bum ba da and then I'll strum the C major 7 chord and give the song a nice little ending so bum Wish you the best. I wish you guys the best for the song. Make sure you learn it properly. Let me know how the lesson was. I have covered plenty of songs by Love Way. Every song, uh, let me break your heart again. Or let you break my heart again. Then uh, Beautiful Stranger, Fragile, Falling Behind, Valentine, and plenty more. There's a dedicated playlist. Check it out if you just want to learn any other song. And uh, make sure you subscribe. It means a lot to me. We are very close to 20k, guys. So, uh, 20k. I'll be bringing some super cool news when we reach 20k. I'll see you guys back in the next video. Bye.